Oh hey, hey everybody, welcome to another video, and uh, today we're going to be actually doing another haul. So it's going to be from yesterday. I'd actually been ordering a lot of stuff from different shops, and a lot of it hadn't come in time, so I thought maybe making another black haul video would be appropriate because I did order these a few days before Black Friday, but they never came until like Monday or Tuesday, and that was a few days ago, but I haven't had time recording because I've had school and blah blah blah, so we're going to be getting into the video, and I bought a lot of good stuff. I'm not even joking with you guys. I bought more H&M. Woo! Okay, so we're going to unbox this. I just need some scissors. All right, so I did buy a few items. Uh, not as much as last time, I will say, but I did buy things which were kind of important. I'll tell you exactly why in a bit. So this is one thing which saw really appealing to me when I saw it on the H&M site and that is a wool shirt and I know that it's not vegan but I prioritize myself first as sad as that sound <gasps> it's pretty comfortable though the only thing which is bad is it feels big that's the only problem and it's an excess um, I'm assuming it's an excess because it's not really loose around the the sides but actually that like the fabric it feels fat if I do say so myself but I do like it though like generally it's really cozy could easily use that at night times all right so we're gonna go to the next item Woo! I don't know is this an excess because it doesn't feel like an excess this is an excess it feels like an s because it's a slightly loose but it's not like it's not really tight is this worth it I don't know does it look good? I think so. We'd love to wear this otherwise. So let's go to the final item from H&M. This is not real fur because it did say on the site that it's made out of like acryl fur or something. And I really like this jacket. Um, it, the jacket was in a different size in the shop, but it was one size too big and one size too small. I don't know about this. I feel like the jacket which I tried in the store Okay, so I feel like this, I don't know about this. So basically what happened was, I hope they gave me the right size. So basically this jacket, which I'm wearing right now, is a very, I really like the jacket. And basically there was a size which was smaller and a size which was bigger. And I felt like the bigger one was way, like it wasn't big, but I felt like there was too much space in between. But... This jacket literally feels like the small one, which I think is really weird, because I picked a size which was in between. Like, it feels a bit better when I'm actually standing up. When I sit down, it actually kind of tightens together for some reason. But this jacket is pretty cute, though. Anyway, so I think I'm probably going to keep it. Now I'm going to want to have a bigger size, because the bigger size makes me... Well, it doesn't make me look fat, but I feel like there's space in between... So it makes me feel fat. That's way to my logic. So that's everything from H&M. So now we're gonna go to, I'm thinking we can go directly on to Easy SMX. Now, as you guys know, this is a, this is probably for a sponsored video. This is how the keeper looks like. It does remind me of the old one, which I have right here. This is the old one, okay. One thing which is good is it's not for my chemical, so I can stay up late and not annoy my siblings, so that is a positive thing. That was kind of the reason why I wanted this keyboard, just because it was not mechanical. I do enjoy mechanical keyboards, but after a while, you kind of have to like, it's like cool to have it, but it's not like, what. it's like whatever. And it's a red keyboard, so. Um, it does make less sound, and it looks pretty good and fresh. Now, if you do want to get a coupon code or you want to check out the product, you can go to EZS Max down in the description because I'll be linking it. Um, please go get this because this is a good keyboard. I can already feel right now. I can. It's very good because it doesn't make that much sound and it has a lot of features. Like you can see here clearly, uh, this is. Um, oh, so as you can see here, okay, look. So this is the pause, rewind. Yeah, you get it. And then these are the volume. Volumes. 
So that's pretty good. You don't have to do it on my other keyboard. I don't think you have that. Think about this. This is like a normal gaming keyboard, which you would get. And this would cost you know, roughly 40 quid. And I assume that if you have some kind of coupon code, you could probably get it for 10 or a bit, something along the lines of that. So make sure to check out this keyboard. If you want more information about it, make sure to go in the description because this is a very cool. I can just feel like this is a very good keyboard and I really recommend it. So I know that I just opened it and I'm being a bit of a biased idiot, but I just love their keyboards. It's just like, I love this one, but I love this one as well, just because I really needed one. And it's, a, it, I love red, sorry. I just do. So we're gonna go on to the next item. I only bought two items, but we do have a grand finale after this. And Oh my god, it's actually the shoes. Alright, so let me go on to the clothing thing. Oh, this is even more cuter. Oh my god. Polo shirt. Or well, it's not, but it's more like... It's a wool shirt. So... I don't know about this. Is it worth it? Because right now I feel like it's getting slightly uncomfortable. It's slightly big. I feel like this shirt is not really that great. I would like rather have the wool shirt. The only reason I bought it was because it f looked really cute and uncomfortable. Um, usually I only buy red stuff, but since, but since I saw the product and I saw how amazing it was, I directly assumed that it was good. This one, I kind of just bought it because I felt like, okay, it's red. It can maybe be cute for another outfit, but I feel like it's very this is excess and it's very well no it's s because they don't have excess for men uh this is very um empty or it's not tight so i feel like there's this could easily be an m so i don't know about this to be honest although the shoes which i'm a bit more excited for i so these are the actual shoes which i got the reason why I didn't want to buy them from the beginning was because I felt like these reminded me a lot about, um, there's this phrase in, in Swedish which is called Urtan, which basically means the, um, gangsters in the town, which I don't really want to look like one, honestly. Uh, and I'm not saying, being a gangster is not cool in my opinion, I just feel like you're being, you're trying to stick in when you don't. So I only bought these because, for two reasons, they were, re well no. No, I bought them for three reasons. One, which is red. Two, because um, they are high-waisted, and that's shoes which I really look for, because I did have some high-waisted red shoes from Zara before, but they broke, so I had to return them, and I didn't have that stock anymore. Also, the last one was a bit ugly because of the... It had this ugly symbol, uh, actually a B. And then three, because it has this... Yeah, what does it say? way up so i felt like it reminded me a lot about gucci and i feel like i would like to look rich it's it, i don't know it's a hobby of mine you can if you never buy if you buy shoes from a non shoe shop you're never going to get your perfect sh your shoes are never going to be 110 percent comfortable because they're meant to look good that's why they're called clothes shop no but like they're not meant they're meant to look good rather than feel good compared to shoe shops Alright, so these shoes look pretty good. I don't really know how they look like with clothes. Well, I mean with like proper clothes on. Uh, with, with like jeans and stuff. So I don't really know about that. I'm gonna have to test them out one more time later. But so far they look fine to me. They look rich and I'm beautiful. Thank you so much. We have, we have one more thing. And this is the grand finale. I'm so happy. I hope this is a good thing. You're gonna see exactly what I mean. Which um, came with it. If I want to return it. So I'm gonna test it out. Because that's what I want to know. Mm. Oh. So I bought, the, as you guys if you haven't seen the last video, I did buy a bag. But it was way too small. But it was a good quality, but it was way too small. Now this one seems, this one seems, this one obviously seems much bigger, which is amazing. But now we have to put, put it to the test. Can it hold 
my computer, because that's the most important thing. As you can see, it's literally nothing from the whole thing. And that is amazing. That means I can have a lot of shit in here without people, without having to worry about it. And that's amazing, honestly. And the thing is, the reason I bought this, it was very, very it was very basic um, thing on it, which was also pretty cute. It has some normal pockets. Okay, let me take out my computer real quick. Okay, it's so big and it has so much space and I don't need to even worry about it. Like my other one was cute. That's because the thing is when I bought the other one, I thought it was going to be way too small. Like when I bought my other red bag and that was like two, one or one and a half year ago. Uh, or it was one year ago. Anyway, and I was going to buy, I bought it, but then I was thinking, okay, okay it's probably too small. So, but it ended up just being just right. This one, on the other hand, it's much bigger. And the reason I bought this one was because one, it's from a good company, which is called Accent. And they sell a lot of quality bags. Oh shit. All right, so I'm probably, I'm 100% gonna keep this bag. It's amazing, it's big. It has the, all my potential. It's, it's, it's basic, just like my last one. It has a bit of richness here. Um, it has the handles, which are big enough, so I don't need to have anything else. Um, yeah, and it's from a good company, so I assume that it's gonna hold for a while. Um, and I obviously keep all the, the, the receipts, so if something goes wrong, I will be able to get a compensation, so yeah. Uh, and I think that was everything. Uh, don't want to go on too long. Kind of living for this bag, though. Um, but yeah, pretty satisfied. The only thing which I wasn't satisfied was with this, basically. Everything else, I was more or less satisfied. The shoes, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to actually use the shoes. That's the thing. I only bought them because I thought, okay, it wasn't in store. I need to see. Because those shoes have never been in store in Zara. So I thought if I buy them and then test them on, I can see how they really are. Because there was another variant. But that one had like chains on it. And I felt like that was way too manly for me. Sorry. So yeah, that's why I bought these. They seem like mediocre. Like very neutral. Which I love it. I love that. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hopefully you did stick around that long. And I hope you did enjoy my video. And yeah, if you do have any concerns or you wanted to see more hauls, make sure to tweet me, message me, you name it. So I obviously have a bit of be better microphone this time. I did kind of change the setting. So hopefully you do enjoy that. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.